Hello guys, Baitsbox here, and today I'm going to show you guys on how to create a 5M server uh, on Linux VPS. So, yeah, let's go. So, right now I'm using a Debian 10 uh, operating system, uh, which is hosted by Jap Hosting, and it's a Linux VPS, so you can use any hosting you want, and it will also work for any Linux system. So, there may be some command, uh, slight piece of command, change of command, but I'll just sort it out if you want. So yeah, let's get started. So to configure it, you need to have the root access for your server. So the hosting company will give you the username and the password for the root. And uh, yeah, the, the, um, so access that, you need to have the party, uh, party f uh, software. You can download this. I will give the link in the description of all the files that you need to download. So yeah, let's get started. So now once you open party, just put in the IP address of your server, of your VPS or something like that and the port will be 22 as default so just open it and just push yes and it will ask for the login uh, I'll put in root and I'm using SSS key which is public key which is better used so you don't need to enter the password in your case uh, then there it will ask for your password just put in the password of your root and it will just log into this so now what we will do is just change the directory to home so I want to make directory here. Just put in the commands, and this is what I do. Okay, let's make a 5m. You can do any directory as you want because I'm making a 5m folder. You can just type it any name you want. So let's make directory 5m. So let's change the directory to 5m. So I'll that. So once you are here. Uh, uh, what we need to do is we need to install some software inside our Linux VPS. There will be a firewall which will protect your server from attacks or something like that, which is important. And next is you need to install a MySQL thing. Okay, so just um, follow what I did. Okay, guys, just type in apt get install usw. This is the firewall thing. Just press enter and it will install it in your Linux system. So after that, you need to download, put the same command, apt to gate, install MariaDB last server. So I'm using MariaDB, you can use MySQL, but I will recommend to use MariaDB for Fire Server. Let's go back. You, uh, both are same, but I use MariaDB, that's it's more better and have better performance than MySQL for Fire Server, guys. Yeah. So let it do stop. And. Uh, after it's done, just type in mysql underscore secure underscore installation and uh, it will ask for the current root password. The root password is for the database, so we don't have any password in t uh, currently for uh, database, so just type enter and you guys should enter as well. And uh, it will ask for you if you want to uh, put password for root password, and I suggest you guys to put root password for your database, so just type in y and enter to type a good password for it like i uh, will type a random password which will be this and we enter one more time enter so remove anonymous users press y is recommended guys so normally you should uh, yes you just allow root login we don't want anyone to root login remotely so press y enter and remove this database y enter and y enter so after this is done what we need to do is just type in my SQL uh, and we'll go into this MariaDB section. So when we are inside here, we just need to create a user uh, user uh, for uh, for our database of 5M, which is needed for 5M uh, for this for server to run functionally. Okay, guys. So once we we are here inside, we need to type in create user um, this one. I'll just name the user name to 5M. You can just put it whatever you want and person this and identity. Ah, sorry, identified by let's put a password. Uh, in my case, I'll just put in 5M right now. This one and enter. So once we are done, we need to grant the all privileges for this user. Grant all privileges um, on. Just type the same command I put, okay guys, 
I'll also put all the commands in the description of this video so it will be helpful for you just copy and paste it okay so to the is you in, we need to put the username okay this is our username just type in that 5m at the rate and the percentage thing the percentage is thing is for the IP so if you put percentage here the uh, database will be uh, accessible from any IP so this is better so enter so after that this plus privileges okay so once we are done we just type in exit out of here and once we are now root access we just need to restart uh, the uh, MySQL thing. So just type in system CTO restart MySQL. So it will restart the MariaDB. And uh, and another thing, what we need to do is we need to type in nano. Nano is for to write the config. Okay, so it's like a notepad for our computer. So type type in nano and just put. So for that case, uh, okay. So uh, let's try to access the database for now. Mm, and this should be an error for the type in our password. Which we, and this ah, so here I already put here, I already press the IP or something like that. But uh, in your case, you need to put the IP, like same IP address that you're using for your PPS. Put the IP here and just type the username of what you put here for the user. Like in my case, I, I placed 5M here, and the username, uh, and this is the username, and this is the password. Okay, password you put here, and the port. So just open it, and it will have some error for now because um, this, the, uh, by default, it will only uh, listen to the ports of the uh, remote section. So we need to configure it to listen to the ports for of any IP. So what we need to do is we need to go to change directory and go what's this that case? Um wait a moment. Uh let me have a file checker for that, I guess. Wait for it, wait, wait, wait for it. Um, but before it will only really listen to the ports that you are using on your PPS. So what we need to do is next just kind of follow me, okay, guys. So sorry for that. Just type in nano and just put this thing. I'll also put this link. It uh, not this link. This text in the description. Just type in nano space and just right click. And it will paste it okay so enter and we go down until we see bind address so we go let's put 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 so what we are doing here we are just uh, telling the mysql to listen to any address so it will not verify any, uh, any ip address so yeah it will be accessible for any ip this uh, after that uh, you put here control o it will and enter and control x to get out of here so let's try to connect to our database now. I think it will be accessible. If not, we need to restart the MySQL thing once more. So yes, it's not accessible. Let's restart the MySQL and it will be able to. Okay, let's try to do it now. So yeah, we are ex uh, we can now access our database. So that's good, guys. Just cancel out of here. So now let's configure the firewall because firewall is needed for your server to to predict your attack. So let's do it quick. Just type in uswlo allow ssh. So it will allow allow the ssh connection ports like 22. You don't need to put in uh, manually. Just type in allow ssh. So it will allow the party to just can. Um, configure it so yeah, just type in all the commands that I put 3206. It is for the database slash TCP. You have to allow 30120. Uh, this is for the game sport by import. This is a default by import, so you need to allow one more thing which should be TS admin. TS admin thing 40120. 
this thing. All right. So now what we are do what once once we are done, just type in yes to look enable, and it will enable the firewall for your BPS. Let's go, guys. So once we are done, what we need to do is we need to go to pybeam.net. You don't need to go here, but I'll put the direct link in the description. Create a server now, and we need to we need to have the artifacts for our server which we'll need it for to host the server so we go down until we see Linux and we just go to artifact server and we just click right click here and just copy link and just type in wget and just right click here to paste the okay once we are here we just need to fx So what it will do is um, uh, it download the tar file. We just need to execute it. So let's list the file if it's already successfully. Yeah, we already have the files. We just need to remove the files we downloaded, like the XC thing. Just type in rm to remove the file. Fx tar txt list file. Okay, we have the um, server files right now. So what we need to do now is. I just cancel out the fear. So right now I'm, I'm I'm making a video for TX admin thing. Okay guys. So it's it's very good thing and it's it's very easy to configure your server and run a server for a Plume EM ESX. So okay, I also uninstalled five M on my PC. I just need to download it right now because uh, uh, you don't need to do this. Uh, I'm I'm downloading five M because I deleted this. I need only five to make a tutorial on it. Sorry for the flash. So it will download on the background. Okay. So until we uh, we have done that, we we need to do is just type in. Uh, so another thing we need to install is screen. So what screen will do is um, make your server run in the background, even if you close the body. So right now, if we, if we don't we use a screen and uh, start a server and just close this body, the server will close. Will be closed. So, what we need to do is type in apt get install screen. So, just press Y and enter. And after it's done, just type in the screen dot slash run dot sh. So, it will start the TX admin thing and it's telling me to go to our uh, this address. Uh, so, to do that, just type in your IPv4 IP address of your previous. 4.255.227 the 1960 is my uh, yes IP and type in 40120 okay so this should be same and this should be your VPS IP address so type enter and it will connect okay so now it is saying we should to lo uh, link our account this is for the first time so just put in the pin 2282 and just type in link account and for this you need to have a uh, CFX CFX account so you just go to this link and just make a account so I already have an account I don't need to make it so what this will do is uh, you can uh, access uh, let's start with the backup password let's put a random password like okay. password on demand okay So once we are inside here, press next and it's asking for a server name. This, I'll just type in this server for now, just type in next. And this is the deployment type. So if you want a fully ESX based server, I'll suggest you just go to the popular template and just go play ESX. And um, if you don't want uh, the play ESX server and you already have the server files, you just Go to local server data and just uh, tell it where the resources are inside your PPS. So I'll just do the public template right now, Plume 6 and uh, uh, okay, so save it and just go to SP deployer and uh, just go bottom until you see next. Let's put in next. You don't need to do anything because it will it will automatically do it. So yeah, this is asking for a license key. To, to to have the license key, you need to have the CFX.re account too. And after that, you just press here, 
and it will take you to the key message of five in that net. So uh, stand by a second. So once you are inside this, uh, let's go to sign in. And this, uh, so in my case, there is a lot of keys already here. So in your case, this should be nothing. Just go to register and just put in the display name for uh, the uh, server, like um, anything you want. Just also the VPS initial server. This is important, guys. So this should be the IP address of your VPS, okay? So in my case, it's just 24, the 245, the 196. And just pick type, like I'm using VPS. You can just type in anything, like I'm using Jap hosting. This is, um, I'm not a robot general. It will generate the uh, address for you. So I don't need to do this because I already have the address. Um, so I go inside this and just copy the key. And just put it here. So database host. Uh, this is the IP of your database so in my case it's the same as my VPS address I did this of issues and name is 5m and password is 5m that I wanted to go to the registry so the database name uh, I do I want a little sort of name for my database so I'll just type in clear sex and just run the recipe and we'll just run the recipe automatically you don't need to do anything and uh, let's do its job until that we already have our Five mm, installed, so yeah, let it do its job, guys. And uh, if you want a separate video on how you can make a, a different framework uh, like ESX based different uh, video, I'll make on that. So it's already have configured your server the CFD. If you need to put something like, uh, mm, if you want yourself as an admin, you just go here. Where is that? Here and just type in Steam and the identifier of your Steam. So let me think about it. Uh, but but I'm not gonna use it my uh, right now as my admin. I already have everything. This you can just start and run the server and just connect to it and it will work fine. So starting the server right now. Let's let's see. We can also see the, the system uses of our VPS from here, which is really, really good thing, guys. Uh, you, uh, from TX admin, you can just start, uh, edit the CSC, you can just go here, resources, and just stop and start the resources from here. It's a very handy thing, guys. You don't need to access the uh, console anytime. So we are just attaching our server to detach the server. You just type in Control A -E and D and expose the server, and it will still run the server in the background. That's a good idea thing because screen is needed for that. So let's connect to our server. Okay. So I think it's working, guys. It's downloading some content. And it's a basic ASX server, guys. We can just put some more uh, plugin inside this. To put plugin inside that, you need to download file Dilla and just access it. So in this tutorial, I'm not gonna do that. I'll make another tutorial because it's, it's all a fully uh, working ASX server or set up easily with the extra admin. Uh, in the next video, I'll put. I'll make another video in which I will make a different server without the Play Me but it will be a 6 server, but using another uh, plugins like that. So yeah, so Play Me is a fully based ESX server, and it has 13 jobs, everything set up already. So this is our controls: F1 for phone, F2 for inventory, F3 for easy admin, and F6 for job menu. So we can get back here and. We can do anything we want. We can go to dashboard and see our server performance. And just restart from here. Just put the announcement of our server. This CX admin thing is very, very handy, guys. So once we are inside our server, to ask for us to make character. Yes. 
Once we are inside the server, we can do anything we want. But uh, now we are not the admin of our server because we have to put our hey, team yeah. identifier if you are using a team identifier. Uh, so this is a use team identifier your server, which is very handy. So everything is really working. You can just uh, edit the configs to make uh, your starting menu better. Uh, but in this video I'm not going to use that because this is just a video for the start a server uh, using the Linux VPS because I saw there's uh, not enough video Absolutely. in the section on that so Hey let's take I'm it easy! Oh excuse me! Thank you guys, thank you for watching the video If you uh, find it helpful just uh, press the subscribe button, like the video and uh, press, press some comments if you have some questions about the video and what you want to see next